By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create your own customized password text box and we'll show how to implement some password checking algorithms. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another Clunkable tutorial. My name is Donal and in this video we are going to explore how the password text box works. To do that what we'll do, as you've seen already, is build a simple password checking app. So there'll be no username, simply going to use the password text box. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tidy up the uh, app name here, password uh, checker, and then you'll be able to download the AI file of this. Stick around until the end of the video and I'll put up the link. Um, I'll get rid of my status bar here gives a little bit more room on the screen and I like everything to be in the center of the screen so we'll change the align vertical property to center like so. Let's have a look at this password text box then. We can do things like change the background color of the text box if we want. Light colors are usually uh, probably the, the best thing to go for here. Uh, we can change the text color as well so we could maybe make um, white text on a blue background. Um, <clears throat> And the next thing then we can change the font size. So very similar to our label property that we saw. So we can change the uh, font properties. We can change the font size. This is very similar to the label. We can also import our own uh, custom typeface. Uh, probably not a big deal when um, everything is going to be kind of dotted out. Let's say it's going to be dots instead of um, words. Uh, so we could type in text alignment. Underline color here is very nice. So let's maybe change that to uh, kind of something a little bit more eye-catching uh, and uh, yeah we've got our width and our height properties and stuff as per usual. Uh, one thing then that I want to draw your attention to is this hint property. Usually you should tell the user what they should be doing with either of the text boxes so um, let's do a password like this. Okay so I've got my live testing open in the other screen and um, just have a look at it here. So we've got some kind of gray hint text here. So we can't change the color of the hint text. So not a great contrast there between the blue. That was a poor choice by me uh, and, the, and the gray. Um, but if you type, click into it, you can see then we've got our orange line there as the highlight color. We can type in some letters like this and delete them like that. Okay, so not the world's best color scheme there, but now we have a fair idea of what the different uh, color properties do. Um, okay. So let's see if we can go ahead and code this up and make it uh, perform a password check. So we could do anything we want, check password. Like that. And I'm gonna change this um, back to, I think maybe white. Uh, maybe yellow. That's my hint, my hint looks a lot better there now. Okay. So yeah, it's a lot easier to see, a lot of the yellow is a bit bright, but uh, anyway, that's the, the fun of the design process. You can kind of play around and when you're, when you're live testing as well, you can jump back and forth really quickly and really easily like that. Um, okay, so we've got the check password button here. What we want to do now is jump into our blocks editor and add some code blocks here so that we can validate or check the user's password. Uh, we'll be using the password text box dot text property like this um, here and let's just test it out by displaying that property in the title of screen one just like we always do. So when the user types it in you can see there's a little bit of a lag. It'll just go for maybe uh, one, two, three, four like that. When I type it here the text property gives me the actual value that gets typed in. So even though there's little dots here and we can't really see them, um, maybe we'll change that text color there back to Black, let's say, might look a little bit better there. Grand. Uh, so type in our, like that, type in some number. When we hit check password there like that, it gets displayed up in the top of the screen. So now we know we can use a compare or an equals block then to see if two pieces of text are identical. What we'll do here is we'll create a password variable. Now this is a piece of plain text simply stored in your phone's memory, so this is not good security practice, but it's just simply for a demonstration, just to do a comparison. So we will see, and uh, we'll call this uh, my password, like this, my password. 
Um, and so because it's not a high tech, high security application here, we're just gonna put in a little uh, dummy password. Open Sesame like this, so don't use your real passwords. This obviously isn't how you do um, authentication, let's say like this in your blocks. Um, but what we're gonna do then is check if uh, the user's password is the same as my password then we'll give them some sort of positive message, and if they're not the same, we'll give them some sort of negative message. So from previous videos then, uh, we might not have seen this if else block yet, but we've two options. The user either gets the correct password or they get an incorrect password. So if we click on the little blue settings wheel, the little blue gear, that's a mutator, drag the else block across like this, and now we've got two options. So what we want to do is go into text, get the compare text block, and we're going to see if two pieces of text, i.e. the my password variable and the user's password here, are identical. So if they are, what we'll do is we won't show them their password. That seems like a poor idea. Um, what we'll do is we'll um, show them a message here like correct. Uh, what we can do then is we can also change the uh, title bar color like that. So if it's a good thing, usually you would show them uh, the, green, the color green. It's kind of uh, accepted. And then we'll do uh, something different here. Then we can say wrong password, like that. And we can change the color here to red. Another thing then that makes our um, app a little bit easier to use is that when we're finished with it, what we'll do is delete the text that was in the text box. So how do we reset it? we do uh, set the password text box dot text to an empty string like this. So just double quotes, nothing typed in there. Um, and that way it'll go back and it'll show us the hint. So let's test the whole thing out here. Um, check password here, it tells us the wrong password. So let's type in a few numbers, check password. That's the wrong password. Now it's clearing out the um, password text box for us as well. Let's try open Sesame like so. Uh, check the password, that's correct. What about if we put it all caps? So it's the same letters, but it's um, in the wrong case. So this does case matching as well. Okay, so that concludes um, the tutorial. If you liked it, uh, don't forget to click on the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you click on the notification bell, you'll be one of the first people to find out about the app. Uh, so I promised at the beginning of the video I'd give you a link to the IIA. Uh, this is it displayed on screen now. You can follow that link and you can download the AIA file for this project and you can experiment and play around with it yourself. Thanks for watching, keep on thugging, and I'll see you in the next video.